Hello everyone, welcome to Analog IAS. Today's topic is Scheme for Sustainable Structuring of Stressed Assets, also known as S4A Scheme. RBI has launched S4A Scheme to help resolve the corporate debt problem and also to strengthen the lender's ability to deal with stressed assets. Under this scheme, a company's debt is bifurcated into two parts, sustainable and unsustainable based on the cash flows of company's project. The sustainable debt cannot be less than 50% of existing debt and it will have to be serviced over the same terms as that of existing facilities. And coming to the second part, the unsustainable debt, it can be converted into equity or optionally convertible debentures or redeemable optionally converted preferentiates with clearly spelt out terms. Also, banks can sell the stake or equity to a new owner. He will, ad he will have the advantage of getting to run this business with a more manageable debt. Next, coming to the resolution plan. The banks or lenders will formulate the resolution plan and implement the same along with necessary internal approvals. Next, RBI mandates an advisory body called overseeing committee it will review the resolution plans submitted by the banks. Coming to the recent news, almost all the schemes such as corporate debt structuring, sustainable structuring of stressed assets, strategic debt restructuring and flexible structuring of existing long-term projects have been abolished. The joint lenders forum, forum designed to resolve such potential de bad debts have also been disbanded. This has been done after the enact enactment of Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code. Now let us see a question based on this. Which of the following statements best describes the term Scheme for Sustainable Structuring of Stressed Assets recently seen in the news? A. It is a procedure for considering ecological costs of developmental schemes formulated by the government. B. It is a scheme of RBI for reworking the financial structure of big corporate entities facing genuine difficulties. C. It is a disinvestment plan of the government regarding central PSUs. D. It is an important, important provision in Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code recently implemented by the government. As we have discussed earlier, the answer is B. It is a scheme of RBI for reworking the financial structure of big corporate entities so, answer is B. Thank you.